I've been holding out on talking about this manga for quite some time because I was waiting for the story to fully establish itself before I said anything, bro. Enter Akabane Honoko no Bodyguard. Initially, when I saw it, the first thing that popped up in my head was, oh man, this could be a way better Nisekoi. Now, for context, right? For context, we all know it was two opposing sides with the families in Nisekoi and for them to bond and, you know, that would mend the war that was going on, yada, yada, yada. The story follows Ibuki and his job, obviously, is to be the bodyguard of Honiko, who is somebody that he's like been in love with for a very long time and just never really got around to it because you know how they make MCs in manga and anime they're supposed to be mad timid at first and angry and all of that type of stuff that's what they do but the twist right the twist of why he's the bodyguard is what's funny because she's supposed to be an ordinary high school girl you know one of the most beautiful girls in the entire high school everybody loves her they treat her like an angel she's the daughter of a lawyer you know she just wanted to live a regular life but what's interesting about that is those aren't even really her parents bro she was adopted and her actual father is the big wig of the yakuza in japan and now what makes this even worse right is like there are people out to kill her because her pops is eventually going to step down and unfortunately she is a direct successor of her father's gang that's the reason why she was never brought right as you begin to read this you start to figure out like the reason that she was sent over here and made it to where you know she doesn't know anything is because her dad did not want her to be a part of this life her dad wanted her to live a normal life go do normal things while he did his stuff from the shadows right that's just how he operated because that's how you know they make yakuza members do stuff like that they they make the fathers like super stern on the outside but like when you actually get around them they're like super soft and always trying to do what's right for their children and whatnot i get that right like you see that a lot in the manga scape so what does this have to do with arakuni right so they brought him along because not only did they pops know each other he's the closest one to her always making sure she's okay obviously it's a love story right it's the it's the romance part of it it's the rom-com part of it she's in a classroom full of assassins bro right she's in a classroom full of assassins and their job is to protect her but according to her father there is a traitor in the group right and he just wants to make sure that she is protected at all costs so his job is to not only play the bodyguard but also make sure she stays completely unaware of what's going on she can't know anything bro pops just wants her to live a normal life you know what i mean i find that really dope but that's not even the coolest part bro the action and the art style is some of the best that i've seen in rom-coms like as of late this takes rom-com to a whole new level right because the typical rom-com is a timid mc doesn't know who he wants to pick who he wants to fall in love with doesn't even know if this is the right thing and you know they just go about exploring the relationship all in while this one is action everywhere a little bit of drama because they're trying to figure out who the traitor is it's a lot of fun right it's a lot of fun so far one of the biggest twists that i genuinely like the about this manga so far is the fact that the one who was supposed to take over the family business i'll say right like i like saying it like that i like switching the yakuza to family business ended up being a female <laughs> y'all know the whole the whole trope of i gotta pretend to be a dude so that way i can take over the family business because they don't allow females to be like this and then she ends up falling in love with ibuki bro but what makes it even better is in the last chapter that i read she ended up getting disbanded from the crew right he exiled both of his daughters essentially right but masachika got exiled so now she's forced to like go live with our mc i thought that was hilarious right but all in all it's a really fun manga you guys should really go check this out i'll leave links in the description as to where you can go check it out make sure y'all leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new i'm trying to put people on to a lot of manga that i find i feel like this is one of the best routes to go 
at least for my channel because I love putting people on the new stuff and I love putting people on the stuff that I think is really good so if y'all want me to cover this weekly make sure y'all let me know in the comment section as well not even weekly because I think this is a monthly manga if I'm not mistaken I think this is it's only monthly so if y'all want me to cover this every time it comes out like I said leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get to it but let me let me give y'all a shout out real quick because I feel like y'all deserve it thank you guys for always sticking around kicking it with your boy and you know keeping my channel alive and enjoying all the reviews that i put up all of the effort that goes into editing these videos and making sure my audio is crisp you know that's something that a lot of people don't do but they always have some of the biggest fan bases they don't do anything with their audio they don't do anything to make sure it sounds good they don't really do anything with their videos to make sure they look good i know this is just like me hating right i tend to do this a lot i tend to like project because all the work that i put into what I do oftentimes goes unrecognized but as of late I've been okay with it because I got y'all so don't mind what I just said make sure y'all go enjoy your day night whenever I upload this and with that being said it's your boy Damo Senpai and I will catch you guys in the next video